This is my AquaQuest Safari 10x13 tarp. Keep it packed up nice and tight. Inside. Have some ready-made gear here. My Ridgeline with Prusik knots already tied. And some guy outlines. Here I'm using a simple bowline knot to attach one end of the ridge line to this tree. Here I'm using a simple trucker's hitch to tie this in. Here are my pre-made prussics. Keep these on that ridge line all the time. Just makes it easy to deploy the tarp a little faster. And here I have my pre-made guy lines. They're roughly six feet long in total and I have the guy line tensioners on every one of them. For my hammock, I use my Grand Trunk Skeeter Beater Pro. Been using this hammock. I'm not even sure how long I've had this, five years or more. And honestly, during the summer, it's a little hot. It's a thicker material. I use the, uh, well, I used to use the Ultralight Grand Trunk a lot. Uh, but I <laughs> recently did some reading on it, and there's a 200 pound weight limit on that particular hammock. And I'm a bit of a daredevil, so sometimes I like to get in the top of trees in that hammock rather than down below. So I've been playing the cards lately and have come out okay. But now that I do know that there's a 200 pound weight limit on that, I don't want to chance it anymore. So looks like it's just gonna be this. On the way out here, I found a bunch of bottle caps. And I'm gonna take one, and I started folding one here. See if I can make a fishing lure out of these. So I'm gonna place this in here like that. I'm afraid if I clamp this down around the line, it's gonna cut it. So I'm going to put this down inside of it, like that. Let the hook drag out of the back of it. And just kind of clamp it down around the swivel here. And then put a weight on it. And let's try. Try a few casts. So that's in there pretty snug, so uh, put it weight on, let's try it out. Well, folks, the fish aren't biting right now, so I think what I'm going to do is just have a snack. I'm going to try and make up the mountain house treat that I brought out. And I realized I didn't bring a spoon, so I'm going to have to carve up a spoon.
Okay, here she is. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just needs to be functional. Inside of this is the Stanley Brencher cup itself. Basically going to boil water in this and then add it to the mountain house and let's give it a day in court. Okay, so slight change in plans. I've seen this package hundreds of times. I've only read it once. Four servings. I'm going solo today. So I'm not going to mix up all, let's see, I'm sorry. Carefully add one and a third cup or 11 fluid ounces of boiling water. So I'm not going to do that because honestly, I really don't want to waste it. So I'm going to cut this into about a third and see how that works out. And if you can see that date, best by January 2048. It's fantastic. I hope that it's going to be good. I love raspberries. I love crumbles. Put them together. So we'll see how this turns out. While we're waiting on that water to boil, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Container there, freeze dried raspberry crumbles. I'm sorry, yeah, freeze dried raspberry crumbles, if you will, and chocolate cookie crumbs. So, I'm going to take some of this and some of this, put it back into that. Or, actually, I've got the uh, I've got a small cup, stainless steel cup, that goes on the bottom of this. I can actually mix that in there. That'll be better. And that way I can haul it all back out. The unused portions haul it out back in this. So it looks like I've got a boil going on here. So here's the raspberry mix. Pour some in there. I'm kind of eyeball it here. I don't <laughs> maybe I put more than a third in there. All right, well, let's just see. That looks good already. Mix that water in there. Let's see if we can see that. And that is good and hot. So we're going to take the makeshift spoon. Now we're going to add the cookie crumbs. I'm not sure exactly how many to add. You just do it to flavor and texture. That's pretty. This is going to taste great. Give it a shot. That's absolutely delicious. Raspberries, raspberry sauce, and that chocolate. Really wasn't sure how the chocolate was going to taste along with it, but that really, that's really, really good. Didn't have any lunch today. Been trying to sample this for a long time. We found it at, on the clearance aisle in Walmart. And there were about, I can't remember, four or five bags. 
for a dollar. Grab them all. Hoping they were good. Now we've had, haven't had a mountain house yet that has not been good, so. This is no, ex no exception. This is no exception. Time to refill the water. Easiest way for me to get water out of the river is tie a little basket around the Stanley, drop it down in there, and scoop it back out. Now I'll fill up my sorry squeeze bag and refill my hydration bladder. And there you see it there. When it comes to this food, these ants do not play around. They get in it quick. So I'm going to do kind of the same process I did with the uh, Stanley Adventure Cup. Just drop this in the river, kind of rinse it out a couple times and uh, get it packed up and ready to go. There we go. Safe and secure. And into the river it goes. I just dink and dunk it around like that a little bit. Get most of the food particles out. Clean as best I can. There we go. And there she is. Thank you for joining me today on this quick trip. Had a great time out here. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. As always, God bless. We'll see you next time.